Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cbrev. Welcome to another MLB The Show 21 video. In this one, we're going to be going over the fastest way to complete Team Affinity no money spent and acquire those sick 42 cards for Stage 1. These Stage 1 Team Affinity rewards are some of the best in the game at launch and definitely something you're going to want to work towards, especially as a no money spent player. If you guys are new to the channel, please like the video, subscribe for more. There's going to be so much MLB The Show content coming your way from me this year. Really would mean a lot to me. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch and Twitter as well. So Team Affinity is essentially a team-based grindable program in Diamond Dynasty. This year it's a little more division-based and the reason we want to complete Team Affinity is because it has these insane rewards throughout there. 88 overall cards available for every single team and they're doing it by division this year so if you max out a division right now I'm in the NL West. If you max this out to 150 points, you end up with five of these NL West cards and you can take every single one of these 88 overall. So it's an amazing way to build your squad up early on in the game cycle and a lot of these cards are really, really good. As far as how to complete this stuff, there's a ton of different ways. You can do missions, moments, conquests, March to October, which is a really fun game mode as well. But this video specifically is gonna be going over Showdown, which is the fastest way to complete this Team Affinity stuff. If you go to exchanges in a divisional Team Affinity, you can see repeatable showdown voucher one showdown voucher gives you three team affinity points and you get five showdown vouchers for beating a showdown so essentially every showdown you beat you're going to earn 15 points towards a team affinity this is repeatable infinitely for any team in the game so obviously this is going to be the most efficient and effective way to grind out these team affinities you can also skip to the end right away in showdown which is not something i recommend at all this year i think you should play it slowly and all my math regarding how long the stuff takes will be assumed that you're playing it slow uh, but if you do skip to the end and you're successful pretty consistently you may even cut some of those times I mentioned in half in regards to the actual 42 series players these stage one team affinity rewards they are back loaded in these team affinity programs so you don't actually acquire your first player pack until 60 points so it's gonna take you four showdowns to get your first player after that it's at 90 so two more showdowns but then after that, it starts to speed up only a 20 point difference between the last three packs. So when you hit 90 points, which is six showdowns, you will have only obtained two of these cards. But the remaining 60 points, which is four showdowns, is going to let you acquire three more of these cards. So regarding which players you want to go after, it's actually best to target entire divisions because you're going to be most effective and efficient grinding for all five of the cards since the last three of them are at the back end of the program reward structure. And as a long-term goal, it's probably best just to go ahead and try to get all 30 of the Stage 1 42 series cards because they are part of this collection that leads to a 99 overall Jackie Robinson card at the end one of the earliest 99s in the game and definitely something you're going to want to be chasing after but if you want to take it slow and you just want to grind it based on the players that you want to use target what division will provide you with the most players overall so let's talk about the showdown game mode itself you want to go to single player modes and then showdown and then we want to go to team affinity season one this is the showdown we're going to be grinding this is the showdown that is going to provide us with 15 team affinity points every single time we complete it. So here's how showdown works. You draft a team along with a couple of perks that help boost your attributes in game, such as giving you higher exit velocity or contact in certain counts. Then you go ahead and set your lineup, equip your perks, and you jump into these little mini moments, which will provide you with extra hitters and perks if you complete them, along with stubs and experience. You go along, complete all three of these moments, and if you fail any of these little ones, it's okay. Then you get to this big scary red guy, which is a boss battle. So if you lose a boss battle in showdown, you are eliminated from the showdown entirely. So it's incredibly important that you beat this. From what I've seen so far, it's fairly easy in my opinion. You only need to score three runs and you have 10 outs to work with. You can, however, if you're so inclined, you can skip to the end after this third mini moment to avoid the possibility of elimination in this boss moment. However, I think playing this boss moment is really good and is going to help you with Stubbs XP and the ability to beat the final boss, which is this last scary big guy at the end so after the mini boss you're gonna do three more mini moments they get better as you go along so if you beat some of these ones at the end you're gonna get a 42 series hitter and a diamond perk to help your lineup you're gonna have more hitters to work with a better chance to score a lot and as we'll show when we actually get into the showdown each one of these little tiny moments contributes towards your run total at the end at the end you're gonna face this final boss which is a 42 series pitcher card you're gonna have 15 outs to work with and the amount of runs you have to score to win is going to depend on how many moments you won beforehand. So we are quickly going to go through a draft 
graph just to show you guys how this works. It's going to start off with two 42 series hitters. I usually just take the best hitters I can. So Trent Grisham looks good to me. Then I'm going to take Joey Gallo. Then you're going to get a 42 series pitcher. This will help you with the pitcher moments individually, but at the end of the day, um, the final boss battle is a hitting only moment, so this pitcher will not help, but you do get this card every time. We'll take Castillo, um, and then you just want to kind of fill out your roster based on what your plans are. So for somebody like me who skips to the end sometimes, basically I'm just looking for the best hitters possible. Um, you will not know the handedness of the pitcher you're facing until you get into uh, the end, or once you're done with the draft. Um, but if you're planning on doing the mini moments, which is my suggestion, I would try to actually pick positions that will be filled in your starting lineup. Uh, so now I want to take Moustakis. He's a great hitter and also fills second base, which is a position I have not taken yet. Same with Jorge Alfaro here. I could also do Christian Walker, but I already took a first baseman um, and my outfield's full. So I'm going to go ahead and take Alfaro to play catcher for me if I want to do these little moments. And we'll take Jerickson Profar to fill out third base or shortstop. After nine players, you are met with these perks, which give you boosts in game. The best perks that will help you with the final showdown boss are the ones that give you contact and velocity boosts. And especially ones that do that when you're losing because you are technically losing in the final boss battle. So our best ones here are exit velocity boost in two strike counts and exit velocity boost with no runners on base. I'm going to take the no runners on base. And for our silver perk, this one's vision bonus while behind in the count. That's decent. And our last silver perk, contact boost in 0011 and 22 counts. Now that our draft is over, we want to make sure we go to manage perks and equip these perks. These are not automatically equipped. You must set them up yourself. And we can see in the bottom left corner, final showdown right now we are down 0 to 12 with 15 outs remaining and there is a Marlins emblem so that tells us that the final boss we will be facing is 42 series Sixto Sanchez like I said earlier for this stage one team affinity all of the pitchers you will face in the end are 42 series cards now we want to go to manage squad and we want to set our lineup if you are skipping to the end right away it does not matter who plays where you can play people out of position because the final boss battle is a hitting only moment uh, this is also a strategy we'll use if we're playing the little moments as well, whenever you get to the final boss or a mini boss even, um, you can plug people in wherever because you're never going to play on defense. So you just want your best hitters in the lineup one through nine. This lineup looks good to me as it is right now. So I'm going to leave it there and you can see kind of how these mini moments work out now. So this difficulty is rookie. Um, it's a moment based on something that happened in real life. It says tally one strikeout in one inning with your showdown squad starting pitcher. So that's really not bad at all, especially on rookie. You can definitely knock that out easily. If you beat this moment, you are given two runs towards your final showdown. So when we win this one, we will now be down two to 12 instead of zero to 12. We will also have an additional post round draft where we will be giving a gold live series hitter and a gold perk to make our team even better. This continues along for all three of these mini moments. And again, if you fail these mini moments, you you will not be eliminated so it's okay you're really just missing out on the bonuses that you would get from winning and then when you get to this boss battle you can be eliminated if you lose this so if you're really scared if you want to play it conservative you can try your hand at the first three mini moments and then after this third one skip to the end by pressing options but again i highly recommend just playing this out i believe in you guys you can beat this mini boss especially if you're able to complete the mini moments along the way that give you more gold players to add to your lineup and that's basically Basically it you just do these moments you do a showdown start to finish and when you beat the final boss at the end you are given five team affinity vouchers which once again contributes to 15 team affinity points for any division that you want to use them in so let's talk about why this is the fastest and most efficient way and the most effective way to complete this team affinity stuff when you're a no money spent player if you play a showdown start to finish the slow way it is going to take you roughly around 40 minutes you need to complete 10 showdowns in total to finish off a division and acquire five players that means on average it only takes two showdown completions per 42 series player again remember these rewards are back loaded so this is assuming you're doing all 30 or you're doing them divisionally at a time but just for the sake of assumption on average it's only going to take you two showdown completions per player for this that means per player it's only going to take you an hour and 20 minutes of playing showdown and that means it's only going to take you a little over 10 hours of grinding in total to completely fill your lineup with eight of these 42 series players that are 88 overalls that of course doesn't even include other cards that you can get in other ways to fill out your lineup 10 hours may seem like a lot but for a complete highly competitive no money spent team only taking 10 hours that is honestly a really really good deal and this is the 
fastest way you're going to be able to do it. Another comparison, if you wanted to do this for a complete 88 overall starting rotation, that's only going to take you a little over six hours. Again, these amount of hours may seem like a lot, but I promise you guys this is really fast and you're going to be able to build up your team consistently. You can always do this slowly over time as well. And once you have these 88 overall cards, you have them forever because they're non-sellable. So you're really going to be able to fill out your roster and the more you complete, the more complete your roster is going to be. And some of these cards may even stay on your bench for a long time, maybe even like four to five months down the line. If you compare this to alternative options like this West Conquest map, which has 10 teams that you have to beat, this alone is probably going to take you three hours. And in that three hours, you're only going to be able to obtain 30 total team affinity points, 15 for the NL West and 15 for the AL West. Instead, you could be grinding Showdown, which will give you 15 team affinity points for any division that you want at 40 minutes at a time. And so that means in that same three hours that you used to play this Conquest map, you could have completed four plus Showdowns which is 60 or more team affinity points. Comparing to Marsh October as well, which requires playing a full season offline, this game mode usually takes anywhere between eight to 12 hours to complete, and it doesn't even guarantee you very many team affinity points if you don't do well. Again, if you just grind a showdown for that eight to 12 hours, you could be looking at an entire lineup of 88 overall cards. So that's gonna do it for the video. I hope this was helpful for you guys. This is not necessarily new stuff. This was the most efficient way to do this last year as well. This year they made it even faster than last year though, which is awesome. And I'm sure for a lot of you new players, this stuff can get really confusing and overwhelming at times. So I really hope this was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions about Showdown or how to complete this stuff, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. And this is easily the most time efficient way to get the best team possible, no money spent during the launch week. So that being said, I appreciate you guys watching. Friendly reminder to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for your support. I'll see you guys in the next 